Hello, I'm recording a pinhole image with the pinhole box camera that I made from a design seen on Emulsive. Uh, I made this out of two ends from a 4x5 film box uh, and some cardstock and a pinhole behind those mask places that I'm going to remove on the mock shutter um, that's approximately uh, a little under 0.2 millimeters. Um, it's a piece of 4x5 sheet film in the back there, under the edge, right here. And so it is one shot, then back to changing bag to get another shot, holding together with rubber bands. And I'm doing this image, uh, looking up into the trees that may be a multi exposure. I'm using uh, a formula plus a reading from the Lux app as well as the Lightmatic app and I've got about a two minute exposure that I'm going to do now. So I'm doing about a two minute exposure. I've slid the shutter and I'm in the midstream of capturing the image which is going to be something like looking up in the trees. And I just did a couple of angles to get a multi-image on this. Uh, again, this is with my homemade pinhole box camera. It's right here. Uh, it's a couple of ends from the Alfred Direct Positive Boxes and some cardstock in between. And there's a piece of 4x5 one-time shot. Go back to the changing bag in the back. And... Um, a makeshift shutter. I'm using a piece of tin foil or aluminum foil rather for the um, for the pinhole foundation in a 0.2, roughly 0.2 millimeter pinhole in it. And I've made about uh, eight images and uh, with improving results. All right, so uh, like I said, I did a couple of additional frames to have a multi-exposure image of this up here in the trees. So we'll see how it comes out. So this is Jim Gooden and uh, experiments with pinhole box camera. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.